Hello everyone, in this episode we're going to show everyone how to try to get a broken stud out of a beadlock. Last episode we tried to use our vise, but obviously you can't, it's not really, you can't bolt a wheel on the vise, and we didn't have any kind of clamps for our Bridgeport table. So we ordered um, a fairly cheap set off of Amazon, came with a bunch of bolts. Uh, I can't remember how many pieces it is, but we'll share a link on at the bottom of the video you can, in the description and you can go check this out but basically what we're going to do is we're going to take this set and the set we got i'm going to show you over here we got off of amazon it, it's pretty cool it's got a couple of it's got a lot of different options it's got a couple of different bolt links which is cool in this case because if you, as you can see in the wheel we need something that goes and we need to bolt one right here and we're going to Put a clamp right here on both sides where we can get the bolts down under our, our milling bit and we, we need to be precise. So this is the size of bolt we need. In our kit we, it comes with these little nuts that go into the slots on our table here and they work fit nicely. I saw some reviews so they didn't work. Um, but I think these are five eighths and they work, they go in there beautifully. Um, and then basically you just go ahead and put your stud down in there like that. We've already got one in there, uh, this length, so we're just going to go ahead and lift this wheel up and slide it over here like that. And we get on space to part. And then you've got like different little bite uh, clamps. This one, um, I think we're going to go with something like that one. And then it also comes with your nuts, and it comes with a little tool here as well. Um, you may it may be better to use a, a socket. So, so here we have our nuts. Uh, we also have our little clamping piece we're gonna use. We're gonna try to. We may have one. Um, actually, we're gonna try this long one here. Because we may be able to be able to just go ahead and turn it over like this and use one bolt to clamp just use one bolt for and one clamp I think we can use one we have to get we're gonna have to use a little bit longer bolt but if we use those then we can use one bolt here to clamp everything in. So what we'll need to do is we'll, we'll use that. We'll have to replace these bolts with the little longer ones. Um, we'll take those out. And as you can see, we've got some longer ones in here. So let's we'll go ahead and use these real long ones here. Um, go ahead and thread those down in there and get it started. That one may be too long, so we might have to go the next size down. Yep, that one's going to be a little bit too long, so let's go to the next size. And that's the good thing about this set. Um, you got a couple of different sizes. So this is the size we're going to want to use here. And then put it down in the bottom. Um, there we go. And we got plenty of thread left. Um, we're going to go ahead and center that in there like that. Um, we'll go ahead and just loosely put this nut on here, like so. And then we're going to go ahead and center the nut. Here we got three. We got three studs broke off in here, or bolts broke off in here. One, two, three. And our goal is to get this, this is the smallest milling that we have. We could go ahead and try to use a smaller drill bit and then tap down in here and then get a, uh, a back out bit. But I'm just gonna go ahead and see how true this bridge board is and see if I can just drill all the way down through in there and pretty much just disintegrate the bolt. And then I'll get, you can see at the bottom, we still got some stuff um, we still got some thread or bolt to get a hold of. If need be, I'll get a set of vice grips and turn it once I get this 
milled through here, um, and that should make them should that should allow us to get them out of there really easy. So with that, we'll go ahead and I'll get this bolt tightened up. Again, this is the wrench that comes with it. Um, it's nothing great. Um, probably a socket would work better. Um, but it, it does the job. So now we've got our now we've got our wheel mounted on here nice and tight. And we should not have the problems we have. So now we'll just go ahead and we'll use our handles here, our X and Y, to get the bolts lined up. And then we'll come back and we'll, sh we'll video getting these bolts up. Get the wheel folded in here. We've got our X and Y lined up. We're pretty much in the center of the bolt. And once we get centered in the bolt on the bridge mills, they have a locking screw right here. It locks your X and Y. We definitely want to lock those because we don't want any deflection in this. We don't want any from our head. We don't want any from our table. And we want to try to get straight down in this. And the goal of this, there's, there's probably a better way we could tap and really, uh, use an extractor to get this out. But the goal of this bridge pour is just to see how true it is to see if we can get down there with a the milling bit and just go straight down there without getting over into the threads. I pretty much plan on using, losing this wheel anyway, but it's not old. It's not an old wheel, so uh, if this bridge supports helps me save it, it's like $80, $90. It'll help us gain about fair power on our DFD drive up here. So far, so good. I mean, it's going in there true. It's really, really good. Coming in that bolt. Going back to soft, putting it out just a little bit to where I Off just a about these bridge ports and these cutting wheels. We're, we're off center a little bit. We need to go, we need to bring the wheel back towards us a little bit and get the bit back that way. So we'll go back down here. We'll loosen up our, we'll loosen up our Y. We'll go back down to our hole. Voila, that looks better. So we'll go ahead and tighten them back down. That's why I love these cutting beds, these end mills. Doing something like this, if you, if you did that with a drill bit, you'd be done. I mean, we could have, we were close enough to where we could went straight now. It still have been okay. But with this, with a, with a milling machine, you can go back and forth and let it cut back over and get back on the center. One turn. Uh, this is a little bit. Definitely have it loose in there, so. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the other shop and get a, a reversing bit, uh, uh, an extracting bit, and I'm going to just use a drill that I have to change all these bits. So I'll move this over here out of the way. And, and see if I can extract it out. And if I can't, then I'll just get a bigger end mill bit right here and we'll drill that out a little bit wider and um, and I think we'll be able to get it out fairly easy. I know I can get it out, I'm just trying to figure out what the best way is right now and how I'll do the rest of the other three. Stay tuned, we'll be back shortly. All right, we went and got our extracting bit and we tried to use a drill, but our drill, I'm having problems with the chuck. So we got a tap handle, a T handle. Or tap. So we've got it in there. As 
So we went and we drilled a little deeper. We pretty much went through the bottom of the bolt. And now we've got our tap back in here. We're gonna see if we can back this bad boy out. At least <laughs> we pretty much destroyed the bolt. I mean, it's amazing how that went through there. And there we have it. We have it backed out. So what we will do is we'll go here and we'll find the right find the right tap for this, and we'll tap that out, and it'll be good as new. So it looks like these bolts were 5 16 so we got a die here, or a tap, I'm sorry. And we're making our way in through here. We're just gonna clean it since we just got in here and broke. We're gonna go ahead and just clean them out. And there you have it. That's our bridge port. Tapping out, drilling out, and, and re backing out to some bolts that broke off into our big locks here. And basically saved our wheel and didn't damage our threads at all. So basically, this bridge port is, I'm very happy with it. There's no deflection in it. It went down in there. The bolt head wasn't broke off even. I could have sanded it off as well. I just wanted to see how well it would hold and what it would do and I'm beyond happy of what we've accomplished. So we'll go ahead and get these two more out and we'll show you the end results of those and that's how it's done. Thanks for watching. Uh, again, we will show you the bridge port table clamps that we got at the bottom. If you like them, please go in the description, click the link to go to Amazon and purchase from there. And again, it helps us with our racing. It helps us with these videos. And we really appreciate it. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed.